Your worst sin is that you have destroyed and betrayed yourself for nothing. Yodor Dostoevsky This quote permanently resides in my being, sometimes presenting itself as a distant echo, but oftentimes this becomes a mantra that thunderously reverberates through my body and shakes me to my core. After 26 years and a decade plus of what I'd call adequate self-awareness, why do I habitually betray myself? This is a question I've continuously asked myself that either leaves me with a chasm of silence or excuses to fill the void. Although this question is a festering growth of my psyche, it's necessary for change. In my quest for answers, I've begun to familiarize myself with the part of my being that fishes these questions out of the swamplands within me. A combination of history and religion has subjected this betrayed part of my being to a plethora of names from higher self to soul, spirit, Atman, the Tao within, along with countless others. And despite being unable to pin down the authentic name, my relationship with that which resides deep in my being doesn't hinge on a first name basis. The nature of this relationship depends upon and was summed up and inscribed thousands of years ago in the Temple of Apollo in ancient Greece, which reads, Know thyself. So that's my journey, to know thyself. I've embarked on this pilgrimage trudging downward, encountering jesters, beasts, a wounded inner child, all to be acquainted with the pleading voice seeking cooperation. My expedition has allowed me to capture a glimpse of the part of my being, that is aligned with the higher laws. The internal navigator in tune with my destiny, in tune with the mystery, and in touch with God. For years, our relationship has been one of discordance, betrayal, and suppression. My conscious, my ego, has been the disagreeable teenager preventing this holy union. Unfortunately, to say I'm done betraying myself would be a lie. The strength, courage and stillness I need to indefinitely obey and commune with that which is in tune with the higher laws is something I'm not thoroughly equipped with. The adventure I've embarked on seems to be eternal, or perhaps just a lifetime. Before me is a never-ending battle, and frequent trips into the fire to crystallize the relationship with my spirit. And in that, I find fulfillment. Peace.